Hello again, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can compute the mean score and the standard deviation in addition to other measures like the sum and the number of the participants with regard to Likert type items, as well as uh, how you can interpret the different mean scores of the different Likert type scales or the different Likert type items and how to rank the different Likert type items like this based on the mean score from the highest to the lowest. So we're going to do all these things using spaces. I'm going to go to spaces for instance and I'm going to go to analyze, then descriptive stats, then we can go for descriptives and we can, for instance, remove these variables and move the other variables. And for options, I can check the mean, the sum, the standard deviation, for instance. You can also check the minimum, maximum, etc. in case you need them, the range, the ketosis, the sconis. But what is important also is the display order. So if you want to display these items based on the mean score, you can have either the variable list, which is the default one, alphabetically or alphabetic order, also ascending means as well as descending means. So we are going to choose descending means that is from the highest to the lowest and click continue and then click OK. And here is the output. So we can just copy this and paste it. And then we can uh, edit this table a little bit so that it, it is readable. We can, for instance, change or just copy these titles and paste them here. Okay, so we can just change the some formalities so that we can have the best version of the table because the raw output is not that very much uh, readable, so to speak. So once I finish the formatting, I can start interpreting the different Likert type items based on their mean score. So we have the first one is do written translation activities, as we saw previously using percentages. The second one, prepare for tasks, etc. This means that the item that has the highest mean, uh, this means that it has received more agreement compared to the other uh, to the other items. And the reverse is true. Like English should be in the main language used in the classroom. This means that the mean is low. So this means that the majority of the respondents either disagree or even strongly disagree with this item. So it is the last ranked item uh, in this case. So this is how we can uh, analyze and interpret Likert uh, type items based on their mean score as well as their standard deviation, which means how each respondent differs from the other. Um, the sum is another thing along with the n. This refers just to the sample size, etc. So I hope this makes sense to you. If you have questions and remarks, do not hesitate to post them below. Or you can also contact me via one of my social media. And see you soon in another tutorial. And bye for now.